Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to show you the benefits of social distancing by performing simple particle simulations. In this video, you will be watching a bunch of simulations where red colored circles represent people with coronavirus infection, blue colored circle represents people who are healthy individuals, and finally, cyan colored circles represent people who have actually recovered from an infection. Now, if we do not distance ourselves from other people, then what's going to happen is a sick person is going to infect a healthy person on interaction. The healthy person is now going to get infected and then this snowballs and now you have more infected people and hence infecting the remaining healthy individuals only takes a little bit of time. Now, if you were to visualize the same concept graphically, you will see that the number of infected people exponentially grows and suddenly 80 to 90 percent of your population is infected and this can also lead to a 100 percent infection. Now the main problem behind a whole bunch of people getting sick at the same time is that it puts a huge strain on the healthcare system. So think about it. Say that you have just a single hospital in a city which has only 10 beds. Now if 20 people get infected then the first 10 people are going to get admitted but what happens to the next 10 people? They are not going to be given the health care that they require. Assume that there are only 10 seats but there are 100 sick people. The situation is now really worse. Now this can actually cause a lot of problems. Now all of these infected individuals might have to travel to a different city to get urgent health care and the problem is now going to go into another city as well and this can actually spread really really quickly now in case of social distancing the concept is very simple you can actually try to understand this with the same example now here we have the same scenario we have balls that are colored in blue which represents healthy individuals now we model social distancing by making sure that the healthy particles have really low velocities right and uh, we randomly assign a small value of velocity and for people that are infected we give them high velocities so we kind of assume that these infected people are behaving as bad apples you know they are not staying at home uh, and they are traveling to other locations and can potentially infect others now in this model the way an healthy individual gets infected is the same whenever they get in contact with uh, an infected person they are going to get infected as well and the same chain reaction continues but since a majority of the people are just staying home what happens is the rate at which people get sick falls down considerably so if you look at the number of infections as a function of time you see that people don't get sick at a much faster pace in other words your local hospital would still be able to handle the influx of patients and by the time these admitted patients recover you will have a new bunch of patients joining in so this way your healthcare system is not being loaded heavily and they will be able to take care of new patients without worrying about their operational difficulties now all of this was modeled based upon simplified collision theory that you might have studied in high school so there are a lot of assumptions in this model a lot of parameters like time for recovery have been assumed so that you know you can kind of prove the point the main thing that you have to notice from these two simulations is that by practicing social distancing you flatten out the infection profile on the left hand side is the scenario where there is no social distancing notice how the total percentage of people that get sick gets up to 100 percent very quickly whereas in scenario two where social distancing is practiced the maximum percentage of sick people is around 50 that means uh, the hospitals would be able to manage these patients and recover them so that they can accept new patients later on all right guys i hope through this video you understood the benefits of social distancing if you like this video please do share it with your friends because we definitely feel that this is useful information and must be spread to other people all right so please take care and i'll see you guys in the next video bye